Okay, this is Darren Mullins after Froome Town 2, Yates Town 0. Darren, always a tough place to come to. They're second in the league. And uh, you must have been quite pleased up to a certain point in the, ta- in the game. Yeah, look, we were really pleased, I think, at, at half-time. Um, but we had a game plan. We you know it was a difficult place to come. It was difficult conditions. And to go in at half-time, 0-0 was okay. Um, yeah, and obviously to, to end up losing a game, 2-0 um, you know, was really frustrating. Um, probably two goals I feel are really avoidable. Um, and there wasn't much in the game. Um, I think both sides at points cancelled each other out. And if it ended 0-0, I don't think anyone would have had too many complaints. But um, yeah, to, to concede the goals that we did was, was disappointing. Yeah, I mean, the first half performance, obviously they're going down the slope in the first half. And if you can keep it to 0-0, the second half, you're going down the slope. And in the first sort of 20 minutes of, the, uh, of that half, the second half, you, you were just in total control. Yeah, look, in the first half, I, you know, I think the only things they created were from our mistakes, from, from bad play from us. Um, and then second half, again, I thought we was in the ascendancy really at the start of the second half. Um, we started to play a bit more football. The game opened up a little bit, which we thought would happen. Um, but yeah, to, to give away possession in, in those areas, we know they're, they're really strong in transition. Um, and, and yeah, we got punished. But it's such a tight league. I mean, the, the two teams, Wimborne and, and Froome, they are, you know, again, with, with Cribs, uh, they're the top three teams, aren't they? And the difference between particularly the top two and the rest of the league is, uh, is, is quite a chasm, isn't there, really? Because everybody else is just virtually stacked together on the same points. Yeah, most definitely. Look, we've said it all along. I think everyone can beat everyone in this league and obviously it's shown at the moment the top three, are, they're there for a reason because they're, they're consistent, they they make good decisions on the pitch and they score goals and win games. So that's that's why they're at the top. But look, we feel like it's a bit of a mischance today. Um, first half was close enough and I think second half, we, we've done OK again, minus, minus the two mistakes. But, you know, we didn't really test their keeper. I don't think we got a shot on target, although we got into good areas. So, look, we need better end product. Um... We need to make better decisions and, and stop stop giving away um, sloppy goals. You must have learned quite a bit from today, though, because you can see where, where you're short to try and be in the top two because there is still that bit of a gulf, isn't there? So there's quite a learning curve from today, perhaps. Yeah, of course, you learn, you learn from every game and, and every defeat. And look, we, know, we know we're not quite there yet. Um, we've gone on a, on a great run since Christmas and um, we've made a lot of progress. Um, but look, we're still building. We're still trying to find you know, a few solutions to, to some of the areas. Um, but look, we're not miles off it. We're not far off it at all. And like I said, to feel like, you know, we come here, I don't think they lost at home in, in nearly a year or over a year. So, look, it is not the end of the world. You know, we've lost the three at home. But like I said, I feel it was a missed opportunity. And, and on another day, we could have definitely got something out of the game. Yeah, I mean, football is often fine margins. And it is. It was just that mistake that just turned the game when 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 Yate were in control in the second half. Uh, you brought in Chris Lyons. Give me some of your thoughts on that. Yeah, yeah, look, we managed to get Chris Lyons in. Um he could have bring a wealth of, of experience, of course, and, and I think you've seen a bit of his quality as well today. So, yeah, he's going to add to the squad. He's, he's here on loan and, you know, he will not, not just his, his playing side, he will also help the younger lads and, you know, in understanding the game and where to be. So, off the pitch as well, he's going to be fantastic for us. So, yeah, I think he'll bring a lot to, to our group. We're still, we're still a young group, really. And, um, yeah, he's going to be really important for us in the running. And with it still so tight at the top, with seven games to go, um, you never know what this, the final table will look like. Uh, with the 21 points still to play, and that fantastic run you went in after went on after Christmas, uh, you could do it again, and you never know. Yeah, of course. Look, we, we've said all along we'll take it one one game at a time. Um, we knew this was going to be a tough game. Um, if we can get some points here, then great. But look, like you said, we've got another t- seven cup finals left. That's how we'll look at it. We'll take every game as it comes and we'll see where it takes us at the end of the season. And if we're in around it, great. Um, but, you know, if not, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and you say you learn from each game and just take it as it comes. Yeah, of course. Look, we'll analyse now. We'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll watch it again tonight. Um, we'll go for everything. We'll talk about it on Wednesday and put a, cl- a plan together for another tough game at home to Bishop's Leave. It, it doesn't get any easier in this league. Um, but look, there's a lot of belief in the change room. They're obviously disappointed today in the result. Um, like I said a number of times, we feel like it's a missed opportunity. Um, but we need to put that right at home on, on Saturday against Bishop's Leave. And hopefully there'll be a good crowd because it's non-league day. So hopefully we could attract to you know, EFL fans, particularly their season ticket holders as well, who can get in for a reduced price. Student day as well, and I'm sure the bit of publicity with Chris Lyons playing uh, bring a few gasheads down to Lodge Road. Yeah, hopefully, look, the, you know, the fans have been fantastic, you know, since since I've taken over, and hopefully they can come in the numbers, keep supporting the boys. Look, we've got seven games left. Let's see where it takes us, um, and then we'll go from there. Thanks, Darren. Congratulations for today, and let's look forward to next week. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Bob.